Hey guys, this is Cammie here at Neverline Homestead. Well guys, just when I think that I'm ahead of the game of preparing for the things that are ahead of us into this world, we're just trying to prepare because that's wisdom. Then I look and I think, oh my gosh, I'm not as prepared as I think that I am. So I have here today some EMP shields. I have put one on this vehicle here and I'm gonna show you because I had to put extension onto the battery. But I have a um, one for the uh, electrical box, one for the solar, and this one right here is going on to the other vehicle. Now these are good for EMPs, or for lightning, you know, for solar flares. We just don't know what is the head. Now the cost of these right here, you consider if you had an EMP that hit our world, then you would be out of a vehicle because it's not going to run at all. So putting, investing about $300 in these is well worth it to keep your vehicle running, especially if you're out and trying to get back home. Like me, I have two homesteads, so I'm running back and forth, trying to prepare, trying to take care of this one, trying to take care of the other one. And my concern is, will I be able to get back? And then I'm thinking about the traffic, but the point of it is I can't be concerned about the traffic. Other vehicles that can't get home, that are stopped, right where they're at, right in their tracks, can I get around them? But I can't be concerned about that. What I've got to be concerned with is being prepared. Because I have animals here. Of course, you want to get back to the, to the home that you live in. So when I look at this, I think this is a very good investment. Um, like I said, just when I think I'm prepared and I'm, I'm, a, I'm ahead of the game or at the game or, you know, just trying to do the best I can. And, uh, wow, I just had to make this decision. And I think it's a good decision to make sure that you can keep on keeping on. What I like about this is they do give great instructions. You know, sometimes when I order stuff, the instructions are like, okay, throw away the instructions, just figure it out. But this comes in color. It's, it's pretty explanatory. And then I have one with a solar. It explains that. My solar's not hooked up, but they said that I can hook one of these up to my batteries, which I'm gonna call them and make sure that, you know, I'm on the right path and they're, they're great about answering any questions that you have. The, the customer service is just excellent. Um, I also have one for the electrical box, which is pretty easy, but electrical is not my game here. I'll, I'll change out an outlet, but when it comes to electricity, I don't know enough to mess with it. So I have called the electrician and I am waiting for them to give me a shout out back. So let me show you what I've did on this truck here, how I've had to hook it up because of uh, way my terminals was so this is your your negative and of course the red is your positive and then you have a green wire which which, which will be your ground um, so for me I had because of my, my battery is a side post I had to use a little extension here because it wasn't enough room the time I put this time I put this wire on here or these wires there wasn't enough room and so I had to just add that little extension there and once that was that took place it really just took like 10 minutes I spent more time trying to get this on here without this little metal extension than if I just put the extension on there I figured it out I said gosh there's just not enough room so all you got to do is hook up the negative um, I, what I did is I unhook my negative and uh um, I unhooked uh, the positive, of course, and uh, then I hooked up the positive, and then I hooked up the negative. I also had the ground back there hooked up. Uh, you, you got to find where uh, you're going to hook it to the chassis, where it can get good connection. So that's where I could find, uh, where I could hook mine up at. Now I have all these wires here, and I'm just going to um, put a zip tie on them and put them somewhere. Now, right now, I got it my my MP shield down there, and I will be moving it. Um, I did have it stick. It, it was a good place, but then when I tried to close the hood, I realized I couldn't close the hood, and so once I I had it, it has Velcro on the back of it. You can use um, screws to you know screw it in. But I choose to use the Velcro, I cleaned the, the metal off real good, and then um, used the Velcro. Then I realized I can't close the hood. So then I was like, oh gosh. So good place, but a bad place. I took it off, but the Velcro wouldn't stick anymore. I called the, um, 
the company to buy another one they was nice enough they're just going to send me another one and i appreciate that i was more than welcome to uh, buy another one but you know that that should come in at any time so i'm just going to put it another area possibly down in here i know the sun is shining this morning but down there and see if that works um so my next one i'll be putting on will be this one right here onto my other car which will be hooked up a little bit differently because every vehicle is different this is going to the electrical box and of course that's the solar so once you get it hooked up you want to make sure that this green dot here this light is lit up green that lets you know that you have hooked it up properly so this is my other vehicle and um thought I was going to be able to put it right there, but then when I looked at it with my ground, it's not going to go over it. So you can you know, cut that off and put another one of these on there, which I don't have here at the moment. Um, so I'm trying to figure out exactly where, actually where I can hook it up at. I'm thinking about trying to take that one off. I'm having a little bit difficult time getting it off. I might have to get somebody to help me get that off. But then I looked at this motor and I'm like, okay, where am I going to put this at? So I don't know yet. I'll have to figure out, you know, where I would put it at. But at the same time, make sure that this time that my hood can c close completely. Okay, so now this one's hooked up. Um, red, black to the neutral green I had to um, hook the green up down there I originally was gonna hook it up here but that didn't work out um, decided to hook it down there and all I got to do now is get these um, kind of tied up a little bit and this one I put up there because then this motor here is so compact there really was no place to put it if you think there was a place to put it leave me a comment below back there it's got kind of like a cloth um, some kind of, it's not hooked you know it's not metal I couldn't hook it back there so I really don't know where any place else to put it except right here which would be closer to this motor I've been running it to see how hot it got up under here and uh touch this up here and it's it's pretty cold so that's that's what i'm looking for green light is on you want to make sure the green light is on and uh so we're good to go but once again i uncooked the positive and the negative before i hooked up anything so it wouldn't produce any sparks and uh then i hooked the positive up positive up um, hook the ground up and then I hook the the negative up so this was a lot um, easier it t literally took less than 10 minutes to hook up this e EMP shield so guys thank you so much for watching um, as always we just got to be prepared for the unknown and I, I feel so much better it was definitely worth the investment to know that um, that this is hooked up in case a solar flare lightning EMP uh, situation you know life-changing circumstances so I'm really happy about this it gave me really security um, also I'm kind of telling some other people about it because a lot of people doesn't think about putting a EMP shield on their vehicle. I thought about it months and months ago, but I got so busy with everything, I totally forgot about it. And so now I'm so glad I did it. Okay, guys, thank you so much, and see you on to the next video. If you're interested in one of these EMP shields, just go to empshield.com. Thanks for watching again. God bless.